Welcome back to my Next.js course. Today we're going to talk about styling in Next. Next.js includes a couple of features which can help you build a scalable style architecture. It supports the most basic form of global styles, but also CSS modules and preprocessors. It has built-in support for SaaS. Let's start with global styles. When you create a new Next application with Create Next app, you already have a global style sheet called globals.css. It is imported in the root layout. This is how you import a global style sheet. In this case, being in the root layout means that the style sheet will be applied to the whole site. You can also import style sheets in any other page, layout, or component. You can import global styles from external npm packages this way. For example, if I install normalized CSS from npm, I can then import it in the root layout. Next.js also supports CSS modules. If you create a CSS file and postfix it with .module.css, you can then import this file as a named module in a component. After that, if you write a class in the CSS module, in this case, I'll write a red class, which changes the text color to red, you can then use this class from the imported object. The benefits of using CSS modules is that the CSS will be automatically optimized by Next and scoped to the component. Additionally, all class names are automatically prefixed to avoid any class name conflicts with other modules. If you want to use a preprocessor in your project, Next.js also has built-in support for SAS. To use it, you must install the SAS npm package. I'll install it as a dev dependency. After that, you can create a global SCSS style sheet and import it the same way you would a CSS file. You can use it for modules as well, just by changing the file extension and the import statement. SAS is fully supported so you can use both the SCSS syntax and the SAS syntax. Next gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to your styles architecture. You can build a scalable and maintainable CSS architecture with both global styles and CSS modules. If you're inexperienced with style architectures, I would advise you to use CSS modules whenever possible and use global styles only for declarations that really have to be applied to the whole site. You're less likely to go wrong with CSS modules because they're scoped to the component and are automatically optimized by Next.js. This wraps today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified when the next video in the series is released. Take care.